Hi everybody. So this is a hand cart and I'm going to be drilling and tapping a hole in the bottom of this shaft here which is where the wheel mounts. And the reason I'm going to do that is so that I can install a quarter 20 bolt with a lock washer and a flat that's going to hold the wheel assembly onto the shaft. So let's get started. First I'm going to take a punch and mark the center of the shaft where I want to drill the hole. Then I'm going to use a tool called a center drill to drill out that center hole. And I'm going to use a little bit of oil so I don't ruin my drill bit. Now the purpose of this hole is just so that I can line up the drill bit exactly where I want it. Drill bits aren't that strong and it's hard to get them to start drilling a straight hole. And that's why you use a center drill like this. Now because I'm going to drill a hole for a quarter 20 screw, I'm going to need to tap it out with a quarter 20 tap. So in order to drill the correct hole size, I need to use a number 7 drill bit. Remember, always use oil so you don't wear out your drill bits. And drilling a hole like this into a steel bar is a slow process. You don't want to go too fast, otherwise your drill bit could overheat and so can the bar of steel. So you want to take small bites, drill a small amount, clean your drill, clean the hole, re-oil it, and then go again. If you have to, get an air nozzle to blow out the metal chips. Can never use enough oil. And every once in a while you can check your depth. Just put your drill bit down in the hole, mark it with your thumb, pull it out and see how deep you've drilled. Now since we're only using half inch long bolts, I don't really have to go much more than that. But since my tap is not a bottom tap, I'm going to have to drill down a little bit more to make room for the pointed end of the tap. Maybe an eighth or a quarter inch or so. Just a little bit more. 
This will probably be the last one. There we go. Now that's pretty good. So I'm using a regular T-handle to drive my tap. Some people also call this a tap handle. And want to make sure, again, that you use plenty of oil down in the hole and also on the tap itself. I like to get it at least on both sides of the threads on a double fluted tap. And then getting it started takes a little bit of practice, but you just have to kind of feel for when the tap starts going in and getting drawn into the hole at the correct angle. If you feel it starting to bind up, stop. You definitely don't want to force a tap. Even with a tap as large as this quarter 20, it's very easy to break one of the threads off or in a worst case scenario, actually snap the tap down inside your hole. So just like we did with the drilling, I'm gonna clean the tap and blow out the hole. And once again, re-oil the hole and the tap and then start again. Right there, I think I just hit bottom. This is a pretty shallow tap because my bolt's not that long. And since it's only holding on a wheel, it's not gonna be under a lot of load. Tap's actually coming out pretty clean, so a lot of the metal filing must be down inside the hole. And I'm also using a paper towel to kind of catch some of the debris and oil that comes out of the hole when I blow it. Okay, that's definitely all the way down. Now let's test it real quick with the bolt. This is how I'm gonna do it a bolt, a lock, and a flat. Yep, and I'm able to lock it down. So there's plenty of clearance inside that hole for the entire length of the bolt. Now one more thing I'm gonna do to clean up this hole is I'm gonna take my large center drill and use it to clean up just the outside edge of this hole. Right now, all I've done is drilled it and tapped it. And so right where the threads start, it's a little bit sharp. So if I take my center drill and hit it real quick, just with this top edge of the, the cutting bit, it's gonna cut out that rough edge and make it nice and smooth. And that's all it needs. Now, just one more comment. Some of you guys might be saying, hey, that hole's not drilled center. Well, you know, when you're working with the end of a shaft like this, it's all marred up and old, and you try to drill straight when you're drilling by hand over a garbage can on a work table, it's really hard to get it dead center. And after all, this is just a hand cart, and all it has to do is hold the wheel on, so it's really not a big deal. But if you actually truly wanted to get a hole in the dead center of this bar, you'd have to drill it out and tap it in a lathe. So there you have it, drilling and tapping a hole in a steel bar. Pretty cool. Well, if you have any questions or any comments, post them below. And thanks for watching. And if you like my videos, please subscribe.